we have such a strange uh, relationship with China. It's so important to the world and yet so fraught with, with, with risk and peril. Uh, it, do you have a way to, to, uh, to try to walk that line? Well, first, let's open our eyes. Let's be honest about what's happening. You know, you, you sit there and you see blinking going and, and trying to appease China and Yellen saying, oh, let's do more business with China. But the reality is, you know, if you look at Yellen's conversation, she said, well, you know, it shouldn't be a winner take all scenario. It should be something where, you know, we play by the rules and we can be fair competitors. But, but if to even say that means you don't understand China. China only plays with a winner take all scenario. They've never played by the rules. They don't see us as a competitor. They see us as an enemy. This is the biggest threat we've had since Pearl Harbor. And just look at what they've done. The infiltration they've done in our country. They've bought 400,000 acres of U.S. soil, most recently near Grand Forks Air Force Base, where our most sensitive drone technology is. They bought the largest pork producer in the country. They have spy balloons going over us. But you look, they go and they spend millions of dollars in our universities to spread Chinese propaganda. They have Chinese front companies lobbying our Congress on behalf of the communist party. And then you look at the military that what they're doing. Largest naval fleet in the world, 350 ships. They'll have 400 ships in two years. We won't even have 350 ships in two decades. And now they've become a big developer of neurostrike weapons, which go and impair brain function. And they use that for military leaders, for for major populations, they're developing hypersonic missiles. We've barely started. I mean, the list goes on in how much they're stealing $600 billion of intellectual property from us every what year. Do you